Assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel so this is the jubab sewing tutorial please watch the cotton tutorial if you haven't so that's our sleeve opening and that's the front part of our jubab so I'm just going to align the front parts and then I'm going to notch that midpoint after which I'm going to take my head circumference measurement And since the fabric is in fold, my head circumference is 20, so that's 20 divided by 2. So that's 10 inches. So I'm just taking 10 inches at that point. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to take my jab cap. I notched the midpoint already. So I'm just going to attach my jab cap to my hijab opening, right side facing each other. And I'm just going to pin it down. So I'm going to pin it all together. So after pinning, that's what I'm going to have. So I'll just take it to my sewing machine now and then sew that part. I've just sewed it all around today. And then I will join the front parts of my jab. Then going to our sleeve now, I have my sleeve band and then my second sleeve with sleeve band also. So what I'm just going to do to this is to take the midpoint of my sleeve and then I'm going to notch that. After which I'm going to take the midpoint of my band and I'm going to notch that also. And I'm just going to attach the sleeve to the band, right side facing each other. So I'm going to attach it to the notched parts. So I'm just going to pin it all down. So I'm just going to sew that part and I'm going to do the same for the second sleeve. So I'll just take it to my sewing machine now to sew. So I'm going to join the hijab cap to hijab first.
and then I'm going to join the sleeve band to the sleeve. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, endeavor to tap the subscribe button to subscribe and tap the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. So I'm going to join the second sleeve also. So after joining my jab cap to my jab, that's what I'm going to have. Then the next thing is just to join the front part of my jab. So I'll take my head circumference again, which is 10 inches. Then from that 10 inches point, I'm just going to pin it all down. So I'm just going to pin it all down. And that's where I'm going to sew in order to join the front part of my jubab. Then going to the sleeve now, I'm just going to join the sides of the sleeve. I'll take my round sleeve measurements. And then I'm just going to pin that down also. And I'll do the same to the second sleeve. So I'm just trying to make sure that the band are aligned. And I'm taking my wrist measurement again because I want it to be firm I want the sleeve part to be firm so I'll just take it to my sewing machine now and I sew it down So I'll just wait it down. I'll let me screw the front of my job. Now I'll just join the front part of my job. So I'm just waiting that down. I'm going to make part of my job. So I joined my two sleeves already. I'll just turn it to the right side. So that's what I have. Then this is my jubab. I'll just turn it to the right side also. For you to see what it looks like.
Yeah, so that's what we have. So the next thing now is to fix our sleeve. So I'll just go to the sleeve opening. Then taking my joint sleeve, I'm just going to start pinning it there, right side facing each other. So I'm just going to start pinning and I'm making sure that the joint part of my sleeve is at the down part of my jubab. So that's what we are going to have for a sleeve. So I'll just stitch that round place. I'll just stitch it round. And I'll do the same to the second sleeve. So I'll just take it to my sewing machine now. And then sew it on. So I'm just sewing. Can we just sew it around? The normal we've been sewing our sleeves. I'll just, just do the same for the second sleeve. Then the final thing we are going to do to our jubab is just to M the down part. Or you can just interlock it. So that's the final outcome of our jubab. I hope it's easy enough. And if you have any question, never to drop it in the comment section. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.